Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale on this Sunday, continuing to keep an eye on that area of low pressure now known as 91L. This area of low pressure stands about a 60% chance of becoming something more substantial like a tropical depression as it moves its way into the western Gulf of Mexico over the next two days, Monday through Tuesday. As we look at the forecast, the computer forecast models all take this system into the western Gulf. Most pretty much take it on in to the southeast Texas coast Monday to Tuesday between Corpus Christi and Houston, pushing the heavy rains on the north side of the system up into the Houston area on east through the Louisiana coast, where our coastal flood advisory will remain in effect through Tuesday. Futurecast runs the system quite well into the western Gulf, showing you with the uh, greens and dark greens and yellows where the heaviest rain will be on the north side of that system. Whether or not it's just a tropical low or a tropical depression or stronger, it will continue to move on up into the southeast Texas coast through Tuesday and then again on up into, say, the uh, Red River Valley and Oklahoma, pushing on into Wednesday. The Rio Grande Valley will remain on the west side of this system, so uh, showers and thunder showers will be patchy at best compared to what they will see on the north side of the system on up into the southeast Texas coast. So it looks like the brunt of the energy and moisture will all shove north on into the southeast Texas coast according to the forecast, leaving the Rio Grande Valley with just the opportunity for hit and miss showers with that passage. And again, remind everybody, this area of low pressure will encounter favorable conditions over the course of the next two to five days for uh, greater development, becoming something in the order of perhaps a tropical uh, depression or even a tropical storm on in over the early part of next week, that is Monday and Tuesday. That's a look at your storm tracker forecast.